Radio Giornale Belunese, now airing. Daily news from the Belluno province. Welcome to a new edition of the Radio Giornale Belunese. These are the news from today, January 18th, 2023. 48 of the 64 Ukrainian refugees that are being hosted in Mussoy's former fire station will have to leave Belluno. Some works financed by PNRR will take place there and require part of the building to be demolished. 16 people have chosen to stay, while the others will be transferred to a reception center in Venice. This was decided on Monday after the municipality saw that there were no other options. The mayor, Oscar de Pellegrin, says that they could not find any place to house them, and that they had to contact the region for assistance. The minority says that, w- that this will not only arm the, re- the refugees, especially the children that have started to attend the local schools, but also the Sersa company, that was providing food for the refugees and will now lose 40,000 euros of revenue. To trial for assaulting a 56-year-old two young men from Belluno. The episode goes back to July 25, 2019. During a birthday party, the two threw the man to the ground and kicked him in his stomach and face. The carabinieri had to intervene to stop the assault. Let's goodbye to Kevin Fontanive, the 26-year-old found dead in his home on Sunday, in Frasene. Church full for the funeral of the young man who, for a long time, had been suffering from a kidney failure. An otter was found in the Anseli torrent, event captured by a wildlife camera of the provincial police. The footage, of only a few seconds, shows the animal in the water at night. The video confirms the presence of the otter in our territory, animal that had not been seen in more than half a century. The Dolomiti Bellunesi will promote themselves at Sanremo. From the 5th to the 11th of February, during the festival, the territory and its products will be found in the Ligurian city, with encounters and TV and radio st- transmissions. Roberto Padrin, the president of the provincial council, says that this initiative is the result of teamwork between trade associations, the Chamber of Commerce, corporates and the MO Dolomiti. Michele Basso, the actor of the MO, also considers this an extraordinary opportunity. Passing to sports, football Serie D. Dolomiti Bellunesi announced the acquisition of Pavel Patitucci, goalie coming from Visartena. Finally, hockey, Cortin. Cortina on the field tomorrow for the first match of the Alps League second phase. It will be an away game in Slovenia against Jesenice. And that is all for this edition. We wish you a nice day in the company of Radio BM, the Bellunese Mondo Association's web radio. You just listened to Radio Giornale Bellunese, daily news from the Belluno province.